Now, today's couple, they met about a year ago and things Ooh. were so perfect, they expected to be heading for the altar. But then they moved in together and that's where the honeymoon ended. Now, he's a former pro football- See chat right there. Before you take any serious steps with a young lady, you gotta know what it's like to travel with her, cause she acts different on the road. You gotta know what it's like to live with her. And last but not least, I forgot. Player, she's a former Miss USA finalist, but this time, yes. This time though, they're competing. Claudia, let me start with you. Why is this a good time to go on these dates with other people? I think Keelan's starting to take me for granted. And I thought that if we went on dates with other people, it might jar his memory as to how he- Wait. She looked like that actress, Miss USA finalist. Wait, she was Miss USA. She familiar, I knew her face was familiar. Reese never forget a face. Reese never forgets a face. A former pro football player and Claudia, a Miss USA finalist. Hold on, I might have seen her before. Claudia, USA finalist. Oh, fuck. Claudia, Miss USA. Aha! Interesting. Look at the footage. Look at the footage. Claudia. I knew. I knew she was familiar. See, chat, y'all ain't making it to the league. That's why y'all don't got a Claudia sitting next to you. Hating on my boy. You used to treat me back in the day. Yeah, sometimes you just forget what it was like back in the day. Keelan, what was it like back then? Well, it was great back then. When we first met, I brought it to my cousin's first wedding. She met my mother, my father. She met everybody. I love she you. was there for me during my you know, rough periods of my life. And I, oh, that's loyal. You know, she was always there for me. Uh, Claudia, you guys moved in together. That's when the trouble started. Why is that? Keelan will pick fights over anything. Like, uh, <laughs> I mean, it could be something some so chat small would do. as to what we should, w whether we should watch this program or that program, or if That's I didn't make him turkey bacon. Yeah. Turkey bacon. Turkey yeah. bacon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he thinks I'm selfish if I don't say. Do you want some juice? Now, why are you fighting over little things like, because like turkey I always, bacon? Because I always. Think about her first, and I feel like there's a lot of times she don't ever think about me first. Oh, that's a good point. That's and, a good um, point. And, that's um, a good you know, point. Just, uh, a bunch of these little things kept piling up. These little, these little things kept piling up. Nest. So then I asked her uh, eventually to move, move out. You asked her to move out? No, he did not ask me to move out. He, he told went to you. work. I called U Haul on the sneak, and I moved everything out in three hours. He came home. The bed was gone. No, I was no, out of there. No. Out of there. Right, That's a, a step woman. Through a typical disagreement between the two of you. Okay, he'll get mad over something little, get a grudge, silent treatment, go to sleep mad, in separate rooms, Ooh. wake up the next day, still mad. If he gets mad, yes, if he gets mad over these little things, I don't see how he'd be able to handle a major crisis if we did get Big thing. You gotta learn how to let go of these things. Why can't you do Ooh. that? I, I, I do let go, but she asked, it's like it's all me. I mean, her ego is, is larger than mine. Impossible. She, she, she never, I mean, we've been and together for a year. She's never apologized to me. I know, I can understand being wrong 90% of the time, but I'm not wrong 100% of the time. And then, you know, and yeah but, it's, yeah, but Keelan, if you're the guy that's mad and you're in the other bedroom and everything else, what about intimacy in your relationship? Well, Claudia doesn't even like to kiss sometimes. It's like, huh? Claudia. It's hard to kiss someone who's always running no, his mouth. I'm also <laughs> passionate. I'm a passionate person. I believe I'm a passionate huh? person. So I like, you know, contact, you know, With stroking, who? kissing. Yeah, but she's, she says you're not quiet long she enough to kiss. Like to kiss. I now, Claudia, kiss he, he says he's out. a passionate person. Uh, anything that you don't like about him, though, that turns you off? Absolutely. And hey, what would that be? He cannot dress. When I first met him, Look at him. when I first met him, he wore this like little sarong skirt. I know That's this right. is LA and everything. I thought skirt. he was gay when I first met him. <laughs> He's not LA and everything. I thought right. he was gay when I first met him. <laughs> Not gay, not gay. Right. All right, Claudia, if he's wearing a sarong once in a while, that's okay, but does he wear the pants in the relationship? He tries to control me a little bit. He gets it's mad, impossible. he tries to tell she's, me she's what, not what modeling job impossible. to take or um, who I should or should not talk to. That is not true. That is not true. I said she's too social. Right. She's overly social. He's just trying to get... She Miss USA. What the fuck? Who you... She got to talk to the whole country at a certain point. How she too social? Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute here, buddy. 
what is he talking about? He is showing very, very, he pissing me off. That's what I'm trying to say. He talking about, she too social. She's literally a public figure. This man is storming off into the next room when she do something that he don't like instead of communicating amongst the relationship. He's wearing skirts on a first date or whatever. I don't know what's going on with this guy. Maybe too many hits to the head as a football player mess with his brain because he pissing me off. You got this lovely young lady here. He don't know what to do with her. See, Chad, y'all want baddies, but y'all don't know how to handle them. Send her my way. Some advice now. She'll get right for the summer. Yeah. How do, you, do you think he's intimidated by the fact that you're going out and doing these things? He might be a little intimidated because I am. I I not, am a very independent, very strong woman. Look at it. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I knew she was a strong woman when she packed her shit up and got out of his house with no argument. She said, "I'm ready to dip." She said, I'm ready to get away from his goofy ass. Caitlin, how about the times that you guys are out together? Does she like to show you off and together, make you feel proud? We get invitations to a lot of things. Right. And whenever I do, I always make it a point to take her. So, Keelan, she know. invites you, but she don't reciprocate? No, she takes her girlfriends every oh. time. I want to have fun. Every I don't want to get in an argument because some guy looked at me or, or said hi to someone or forgot to introduce no, him. No, no, no. It could be anything. It could be a right, group now, for me. Claudia, go back to the beginning of the relationship, and what's the thing that you miss most about that? I miss surprises. Keelan was very sweet and very romantic when we first got together, and that's the one thing that made me fall in love with him. I mean, he That's one time lovely. surprised me by drawing a picture of me for Christmas. Which said, you brought along here. And, and I just want to let everybody to see this because this was very nice. I mean, if he went out and did something like Who this. What the hell is that? I mean, you know, look at that. It's beautiful. It's no, sexy. it's not. <laughs> yeah. Take a look at that. I also told him when I first met him that I would marry the man who can make me peach cobbler. And he got on the phone with his grandmother and he called her and he got the recipe and made it for me. Now, Keelan told us that he loves Claudia's hot looks. However, he hates her cold disposition. So we found him a woman who says her sultry voice could melt any man's heart. Let me Please see. welcome Roxanne Estrada. Roxanne Estrada. Oh, my God. Roxanne. 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 I ask you a question, lover. Is it all right if I put my lips on yours? Whoa, Roxanne with them big ass feet. The feet was louder than her voice. She came stomping down the steps. I want to put my lips on <laughs> loud ass fucking feet. Ooh, question lover. Is it all right if I put God my damn. lips on yours? Y'all see them shoes she wearing? Can y'all see that? Them big ass fucking shoes she got on stomping down the stage. Fake ass Aaliyah. Look at her. What is going on here, man? He don't know what to do with half of these women. And he got options now. Yes, I did, Chris. At her her apartment. Oh. Her apartment. Whoa, whoa, what was you doing you there? In her apartment, she's singing to you. Was this at the end of the date? They was at the goodbye segment oh. of the date. <laughs> Now, uh, Roxanne, is that at the uh, end of the date, all that happened? Was you singing to him? No, after I sang, I gave him a kiss on the lips. Oh, on the lips! Yeah, who doesn't like to kiss. Now, Claudia, after the date, did Keelan tell you what happened and the uh, way it ended? He told me he kissed her on the cheek that he was totally not interested. Oh. Sounds like a little different story at this point. <laughs> Keelan, what led up to this? Were you attracted from the get-go? Yeah, she's a beautiful, beautiful woman. I mean... Sure. He's a loser, bro! Yes. Not to be, you know, uh, beautiful breasts. I mean, that's the first thing I noticed. I'm sure it'd be nice if her voice was as nice as her breasts. Sounds she has a cold. Oh. Wow. Wow. Roxanne, did uh, Keelan make a good impression just the way you did? Uh, he seemed kind of nervous, and then he gave me a gift. He gave me a basket. He gave me a rose. That was cute, but the greeting on the rose said, Danielle. Now, I'm Roxanne. Oh. Danielle? No, you can't even get the I names went, right. I, no, I went to the florist in the morning just to to get it wrapped because I didn't know how to wrap this thing because I put pieces together and 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 the girl was talking to me and I was pressed for time. I hated being late and then her so name it's was just Daniel, a mistake. Wrote, okay, yeah. honest mistake. Well, he took me back to my apartment and then he gave me a kiss on the cheek. He had to leave because he had to go to a modeling rehearsal mm -hmm. and then he gave me a kiss on the cheek and then that made me, you know, look forward to cooking later. So there was going to be a part Whoa. two, so you were right, going to actually right, right. cook up a home, a homemade meal. Yeah. All right, so Keelan, you come back the second time. Any surprises at that point? Yeah, I was pleasantly surprised. I mean, she had this, this, this meal pre-prepared for me, and um, she cooked this uh, chocolate 
uh, mud cake, and, I, and I love chocolate, and um, it's something from like down south, and it was a it was a wonderful surprise to see that because she took the time to actually bake something, and Ooh. she had and, and a dozen Wee. roses, which I've never received from Claudia, so it was pretty All dope. right, so mud cake and roses. Yeah. Roxanne, you had nice surprises for him. What about in return? Did he surprise you? Yeah, he did with his sarong. He had his <laughs> sarong on. Now, my roommate right. thought it was gay, but it was really. That's the second girl calling him gay. I don't know what's going on in this world, bruh. What are y'all talking about, man? It's the second time. Every time he's going on a first date with a girl, he pulling out this sarong. What the hell is a sarong? Leave that shit at home, you freaky ass bull. <laughs> Him and this sarong thing, I don't know. Oh, Keelan, I understand you, she was cooking back at your place. Did you guys spend all the time in the kitchen? No, we didn't, Chris. We um, spent a little time in the bedroom. Oh, my God. No, Roxanne. I, I, fed my, I have reptiles, and I fed my snake a rat, and I fed my iguana some lizards. And well, it's always a... I'll, I love that carnage type thing. So. Uh -huh. And Roxanne, what were you doing while you were in the bedroom? Just spectating there, watching the yeah, rodents that, eat? and looking at pictures of Claudia, and then he decided to point out my thong underwear that were sticking out. And he called me Velveteen the whole night after that. Velveteen. That's my word, because her underwear looked velvet, so I called no, no, Velveteen. Get and Keelan, how are you feeling while she's slaving away in the kitchen, preparing whatever she was making? I felt a little uneasy, Chris, only because I hadn't had a woman in there you know, as the date in my room, my mother's the only person that's been there since her, and um, I'm used to seeing Claudia actually in there doing that for me, and uh, I felt a little... So it made uneasy. you feel a little odd, right? And Roxanne, uh, could, I mean, could you sense it. that at all, that Keelan might have been thinking about Claudia? No, I think if he had been, he would have picked up the phone the four times that she called. He knew she was calling. He didn't pick up the phone. Oh. 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 He's having his date and you call four times? I called twice. Actually, he lied to me and told me that his phone was in the car and that we were supposed to have early dates. My cell phone and was he, in the car. He did not call me back or did not. I'd hear from him, so I was a little worried about him. And I know what mm -hmm. hands he were in. So. All right, so Keelan, what? Why is he lying to the girl? Chad, that's something y'all would do. Y'all lie to y'all girls. What about we decided to, to to do some other things, some bowl or, or go see a movie or something. So I put some suggestions in a little bowl and I had her. Kind of uh -huh. And Roxanne, would you would you pick out? That's I a good pick play. Out. Stay home and get buck wild. Oh. Ah. So that was one of the options in the hat or yeah, box or yeah. whatever. Yeah. Really, stay home and get buck wild. Yeah. 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 You so, were joking. So Roxanne, maybe you should explain what what that meant. Did you get wild? Ah. Uh, well, I laid down on the couch and mm -hmm. he came up and cuddled behind me and then you know, and then we went to a late. You movie know what? That. that doesn't sound too too wild. Now, Keelan, I think beforehand you what guys kind agreed of girl that short is short dates wasn't the case. Claudia told us that she played by Keelan's roles. However, she did go out with a partier, a baker, and a big old rule breaker. Let's welcome Marlon Sanders. Yes. Marlon Sanders. Marlon Sanders. A seat and Marlon, I can't help but notice that you got a bowl there with some papers in it. Yeah, well, um, I heard what they were doing on their dates, so uh, I thought Claudia and I would have a few options to do on our second no, date. He was taking notes. Let's see what you pull out. Second date. Yeah. <laughs> and what does it say? Oh, a hot oil rub down. Then we'll Hell get jiggy no. in the. <laughs> look at him. Look at him. Hell no. That mean. That mean he don't want to change your heart. He's showing his hand already. Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> Marlon, after everything you've heard about Keelan and uh, the relationship, what's your take on this guy? Well, I don't know what's wrong with him. I don't know if he's blind or what, but uh, I couldn't keep my hands off of him. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Claudia, as far as your uh, you know outlook goes, how did Marlon measure up to Keelan? He looked good. Looked like sexual chocolate. <laughs> Sexual chocolate. <laughs> and his... never had a problem with caramel, I know that, so hey. <laughs> And how, how about his uh, personality? He was a sweetheart. He was fun. He was very respectable. I could tell that he's a type that would put a woman on a pedestal and pretty much put them first. He was very, he was sweet. Mm -hmm. And then, Claudia, I understand your date was at the aquarium. Why is that? Why the aquarium? Well, me and Keelan, we used to have a lot of fish tanks, and that was the, uh, 
something that we enjoy doing together. And I, I love that. I've been wanting to go. I told him a long time ago, but he mm -hmm. seemed to forget that. But we went to the aquarium, we saw the fish, and we had a great time. Oh, you went to so, Marlon, who had all your attention? Uh, Claudia or the, uh, the fish? Well, you know, oh, the, the fish, fish were nice and all, but um, she had these cute little tight gray pants on, so that oh, caught my attention. I bet. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and actually, we were getting a lot of compliments from people. They uh, talked about how good we looked together. Actually, we had a lot of fun because um, we actually had a drink while we were bowling, and that loosened things up, and we started to flirt in between strikes, whatever. We congratulated each other, and it was a lot of fun. Marlon, anything yeah. strike your fancy while you were? Or watching her bowl? <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> Why he laughing? Ain't nothing funny she, about um, that. She had these little orange thong bikini underwear. What? Uh -huh. Ooh. Ooh. Thong really, bikini. Really yeah, thong. What's the matter with that kid? <laughs> You've never seen her with a thong before? Oh! <laughs> about you four were cool times with in the whole year we've been together. Right. <laughs> you seen she thong. thong. The only time she go, when she goes clubbing, she wears a thong. Hey. Like, she don't want to wear that with you, buddy. She don't want to wear that. Claudia, what about the peach cobbler test, Claudia? Was there a test there? Uh, did you get a chance yeah. to do that? Actually, Look at the his face. Day, I told him the story about Keelan and the peach cobbler thing. He told me that he's a great chef and that he could make me some peach cobbler. But um, I really wanted face. to get, I thought that we had this deal going out, we'd end our dates early, so I told him that I couldn't do it that night. So there was oh. no time. And Marlon, a little disappointed That's you didn't right. get a shot there? That's right. Yeah, I was. Um, I really, she told me she was going to marry the man that uh, could make a good peach cobbler, and I knew I could uh, make a really good one. So I invited her over a couple times throughout the week, and so finally, um, later on in the week, she came over and what? I was able to. Uh, Whoa, her. she spent the block! That was really good. Too. Oh, is that right? Uh, you didn't know oh, about that, Keelan, huh? No, I didn't. <laughs> She's sneaking around behind no, your back! Claudia, Claudia, the first date, Marlon, I couldn't keep his hands off you, is that right? And then what about with the baking on the second date? Was he okay? Well, in between making the peach cobble, he layered it and did all the little things he had to do. Uh -huh. And he would come and flirt with me and he'd touch my hair and, uh -huh. you know, he, he kept coming and checking up on me and seeing I was okay yeah, while bet. he was in the kitchen cooking. Now, Claudia, I want you to compare their cobblers. Between Keelan's and Marlon. It don't Marlon. sound like she liked that. You know, that. I still haven't found the perfect peach cobbler. Like, Keelan's crust was pretty thick, and mm. his was, sorry, a little dry. But <laughs> wow. It's so sweet, so. That was my first shot trying to cook peach cobbler. So, Marlon, I mean, you, you did a little something extra for making mm. the cobbler. Did she reward you for that? Yeah, um, I walked her out to her car, and uh, she re rewarded me with a nice kiss. Oh. And I went the lips. And she had no problem kissing me on the lips. My Okay, the first kiss, Beautiful. first little peg, and the second, he kept trying to make it long, and I kind of felt a little guilty. What? More so than one? I said I had to go because it was about 1.30 in the morning, so I said, let me wrap this. I got to get home. I, I did feel a little guilty. So you're oh. feeling a little guilty. Yeah. All right, well, Keelan, not too happy about all those details. Chat, I don't know. This could go either way. She could easily stay with her, her current guy, but nobody made the perfect peach cobbler that she's trying to settle down with. She did move out of the old boy house, and she is having a fun... I don't know, man that the relationship had back in the beginning now some sparks definitely flew on their dates so who's on fire for whom let's find out Keelan we're going to start with you obviously care with Claudia you guys even lived together at one point in your relationship even though it didn't work out you went out with Roxanne had a really good day it ended with the big yes. scene production number with a kiss what do you say oh man ain't there a song in the 90s dedicated to a Roxanne I think this was the girl your decision well, going out with Roxanne, um, you know, made me realize how, how dating was and how, how, how it used to be. And um, so I put a bug in my butt to look forward to some great uh, makeup sex and I want to stay together. Okay, stay together. He's just okay. trying to do the next. Hey, Roxanne, sorry. Claudia, Keelan wants to stay with you. Let's get your decision now. You were out with Marlon not only once, but twice with a two-part date. Who's got the best cobbler? That's what we want to know. <laughs> okay, I had a great time with Marlon. He's fun. No, it sounds like she don't want to be with him. I could definitely have fun with him. Keelan did a lot of things on his date, and I think there's definitely more that uh, he didn't tell me. But I do love him, and I do want to work things out. Stay together. Stay together. Imagine having a Miss USA model in your hands and she slipped through. Oh my God! Now I got a link with Roxy. Now you would have to. Kaylin, there you go. Oh, nobody want to see that. Boy, you better spin the block with Roxanne. Because Roxanne dumbass came out singing that whack-ass song. Can I ask you a question, lover? You look 
good. All you had to do was just walk out there all nice. Gonna sing that trash ass song. Whatever the fuck she was saying, that shit was ass. How the fuck you gonna come out here singing a song like that, going up against a woman like this? Gonna come out here singing that weak ass song like you Beyonce. You better sit your goofy ass down somewhere. Fucking Roxanne, Jesus. Look at her and her prom. She was really Miss USA. <laughs>